Stuart, a year in the job. Can you can you believe that it's been a year? Uh, feels a lot longer than than a year. To be fair, um, I've worked more hours than a normal working year. So, uh, yeah, I, I can believe it's a year. Feel, feels like I've been here forever. To be fair, a big summer ahead. Um, yes. But what is actually the plan this summer? Well, we've come up short. Um, everybody's hurting from that. Um, you can sense an atmosphere around the place of, of, of disappointment. Um, at varying times through the season, we thought it was looking, you know, re really good for us to go up and ultimately to fail at the last hurdle in the manner that we have is, is gutting. Uh, so you go home and kick the cat and shed a few tears and uh, criticise yourself and feel sorry for yourself and, uh, and, and all those things. And then um, you, you just got to get on with it, you know, um, that's it now. Um, the sun's risen, it's a new day. Um, we've got to get ourselves back into the championship. Uh, we've got to do that next season. And I'm not going to do that if the owner and all the staff and, and everybody else mopes around and, and feel sorry for themselves. So now it's about um, getting ourselves from a team that got 85 points up to one that gets near 100. So we're you know, we're we're certain that we're we're gonna have a, a good season and a promotion because the football club needs to be promoted out of um, League One. Um it would have been great to have done it this year. Um it's a bit of a harder ask than I think some realised. Um but even so it was still very much possible. So the fact we haven't done it is is gutting. Um I set out after the final whistle to watch Charlton celebrate in full. So I could really feel the absolutely worst I could, so that that would spur me on to make sure I don't feel like that again, and um, we can't have that again. So uh, the summer is about hard work to build on what we've done this year. Obviously, there's some supporters, some sections of the support that are maybe questioning the manager's position. What, what's your feel on that? Um, I don't agree with that. Um, I can understand that that people will be frustrated, disappointed with some performances, some some areas of uh, the squad, um, the overall end result. You know, f football is a game of opinions. Um, m my opinion is that Jack had an unbelievably tough job. We have stemmed the losses. You could argue that we've been relegated to stem the losses. So, so that, that should happen naturally, but it didn't happen last year when we got relegated and the team finished bottom of that league um, and lots of players moved on who haven't gone on to better things, I don't think. Um, and, um, you know, we're, we're left with a lot to do. Um, Jack has done lots, so I'm sure he will admit he's made mistakes. I've made mistakes. We, we, we've all made mistakes. We've got to learn from those. Um, but I think he's definitely the right man for the job. Um, he's in situ. Um, he's uh, very popular with the guys. I think he's tactically, um, you know, going to get it right for us, um, and and I think, um, you know, I'm confident as anything that we that we've that we've got the right man to get us 100 points. And I know some people won't agree with that. Um, and um, the only thing that's going to prove whether I'm right or wrong is time. There's been talk of investment as well in the summer. Is that something that's likely to happen? Yeah. Well, I think if we look at the two things separately on on the pitch, we've come up short. That leaves us feeling embarrassed, um, upset, frustrated, um, searching for answers, analysing what we've done. And I think, you know, we need to do that, go through that process, strengthen the team. Um, and then that brings you on to the off the field. Well, the off the field work has strengthened the, the financial base of the football club to the extent that we can do whatever needs to be done in League One to back our manager. And we'd have been in a strong position in the Championship to do the same. We've had a fantastic year off the field. Um, so when it comes to investment, you know, I've, I've made no secret that, you know, I have acquired the club at <coughs> the bottom price range. I am not an oil shake, um, unfortunately. I can't spend £250 million pounds on Sunderland. And I want to make sure in the long term that the football club has got the best chance it could possibly have of competing in the Premier League when it gets there, because I firmly believe the club will get there. 
in the short term, we've turned the club around from losing a huge amount of money to one that will probably make a little bit of money next year. And um, we haven't had to spend anywhere near as much as we budgeted to, to achieve that. So there, there's money left in the pot. So we're in a really strong financial position. Um, and in the short term, we don't need to do anything. But we've always talked about investment for the long term. And over the summer, I think now it, it is the time for us either to, to if you like, change the, the, the structure for the long term and, and exercise one of those options that you know, people are expressing an interest with us, or, or just to accept that we've got a plan and we're going to fulfil that plan and we can do it on our own. So over the summer and over the next couple of weeks, because we don't want to leave it to the end of the summer if we're going to change the structure, um, I've got to decide if I'm going to take one of these options. Now, the football club has got under my skin. Um, there's no doubt about that. And I, I don't think there's anywhere I'd prefer to be than at Sunderland. Once, once you've watched football at Sunderland and you've been in with the fans and you experience the football club, um, it's a great, great football club. And I don't think there's a better one. Um, so I want to stay. Uh, but I've always said I won't stay if, um, if I think there's somebody that can do a better job. Now, we haven't had an offer, I don't think, from anybody outright that, that I think is worth pursuing. But there are one, maybe two, including Juan potentially, who really want to invest in this football club and they want to do it now. And if I say no now, then it means that you know, I might lose them forever, so I have to decide whether or not that's in the best interest of the football club. And regardless of what happens there, the people that I'm talking to are like-minded. They believe in Jack Ross. Um, uh, they agree with the vision and the plan of the football club. Juan is obviously already in the stable. The other person I'm talking to isn't, but we talked to that person for a long time. Most of the other people that have talked have come by the wayside because I, I don't feel that they've got the right ethos the right long-term vision um, or, or the right level of commitment um, for the football club. So I just have to decide, if you like, very quickly which, which way to go. Um, and I'll do that and I'll communicate that um, and I won't let that drift. But that won't affect the on-field because whether it's Juan or anybody else, the people I'm talking we're, we're all like-minded. We all want Sunderland in the Championship and then in the Premier League. We all are willing to commit the funds to... to to make that happen as much as we've got or we've said we'd commit to. Um, but the good news is that the football club is now really investable, has lots of people interested in getting involved and it's now just like whether it's the manager, the players, whatever, it's, it's about making the right decision on the investment structure in the club. So um, off the field we've had a fantastic season and on the field we haven't done bad at all. But that's we've got to use that as um, now taking the view that we've we've settled it, and now we've got to go on and smash it. And um, next year we get, we we we've got to be as certain as we can be that we put a team together that's going to win this league. Finally, what's your message to the Sunderland supporters <coughs> who will no doubt be back in their numbers next season? Oh, I don't doubt they'll be back. Um, you know, they they they've lived in hope this year, and and. Um, I'm um, all the things they I, th I think they would want me to be. I'm sorry, I'm gutted, I'm embarrassed that um, I am the chairman that has delivered Sunderland their worst ever finish in the history of the football club. That, that sits very badly with me um, and it hurts. Uh, but I've got to use that to, to, to spur myself on. The only thing that I can promise them is whether we get any investment in the summer and, and whether that, that slightly changes the structure of the club. Um, I'll be here um, doing my best, uh, whether I've got you know, 100%, 75%, 50%, 25% of the football club, whatever it is, I'll be here. I'm certain Jack Ross will be here um, and we will work as hard as we possibly can over the summer to make us as strong as we can be. We know we've got work to do and we're already doing that work. We've got work to do off the field and on the field, and we'll do our best to do it.